Hey, thanks for clicking on the thumbnail for this video in case you didn't notice. This video is over 40 minutes long. It's a very long video, so please set aside some time to watch this. I really put a lot of effort into making this video. It's very difficult, and I still didn't even get to put all the footage that I wanted to, but I really wanted to make the best Comic-Con video I could, especially with so many people helping me out. So please, uh, if you don't have the time right now, you know, set aside, you know, about 40, 45 minutes to watch the Shardimus Prime. Comic Con 2011 review. Hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> wait, wait, you're Figure Freak 824. You say you watch my YouTube? Yep. That's bullshit, man. I don't believe you. All right. You like the if you if, if, if you if, if you if you watch my YouTube, that has my theme song go. Like how does your what? Theme, theme song. Sardis, Sardis, Sardis Prime. Is that I, I like that episode. Hey, how, how does the theme song go? Do you even know the theme song? <laughs> well, how does it go? But how does it go? Oh, hey, but he got way further than you, though. Bigger Freak ended at a. Uh... You guys are gonna be in the next fucking intro, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> do you watch my? I'm not seeing you watch my? <laughs> do you watch my videos on YouTube? I, I love your videos, man. You know that. How do I know you actually watch my videos and not just? I'm in the fucking intro, bitch. Prime. Do you watch my videos on YouTube? Yeah, I do. <laughs> actually, know your whole thing, song. How does it go? Charm and charm and charm, 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 charm. My favorite reviewer slash poser because I'm the only one that does both. Ooh. Oh. Alright, well I gotta say Sean is prime. On the yeah. yeah. But both nights when the <laughs> said you I, I gotta give it up to him. I gotta give it up to both nights. I gotta give it up to him. His pose is insane. But nice. you did kind of do the you whole ceiling thing. I did. Yep, I was the first one to do that. Yeah, I mean, the, the ceiling, ceiling thing is hot. You Thanks, know, man. So, um, <laughs> what did Dave Barr know? Put this on hey, what's up, you guys? Charmus Prime here, doing my Comic Con 2011 review video. Damn, I'm so happy I got to go to Comic-Con. I had a great time. Thanks so much, you guys. Uh, this particular video, I'd like to dedicate it to Ghetto Gypsy, a.k.a. Mr. Canadian Gypsy. His link is right here. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for donating and sending my ass to Comic-Con. And here's a little snippet for you. Hi, Ghetto Gypsy. Wish you were at Comic-Con. So I had an amazing time. I had a lot of fun, you guys. It, it was incredible. Thanks so much to everybody for helping me out and do this. It was great. Uh, I have to say, first off, my two favorite parts about the convention were um, hanging out with Jesse Falcon and hanging out with all the YouTubers. But not just the YouTubers that I've seen before, but also hanging out with people that I hadn't met before or didn't really know about before, people that recognized us from the group. So that was amazing. That was really cool. It's it's really really fun uh, when people come up to you and they're like, "Oh, Shortimus, I watch your videos, man. Like it's good stuff. Like, dude, that feels great, man." What was really awesome too is that like with um, with Figure Freak Eight Two Four and Tenacious Rick and uh, and Swift, like we actually got to hang out with those dudes and everything too. Like with Figure Freak, we went to the Captain America together, and then Tenacious Rick and his chick, we, we went out to dinner and at TGIF. We went to TGIF again on Saturday night, and we were with Swift and his brother Christian. So it was really cool hanging out with those dudes. It's really cool, like, you know, meeting you guys. You know what I mean? People that I haven't met in person yet that watch our videos. So awesome, man. Another great thing to do there was hanging out at that Hasbro. We spent so much time hanging out at that Hasbro booth. It was awesome. Got to hang out with uh, Dwight Stahl, Dave Bonner, and Jesse Falcon. That was really, really cool. I have some footage of that, too. The thing that was really funny is I brought my AIM soldier, my one of my custom AIM soldiers with me, because I wanted, you know, the, the Hasbro people to, to take a look at it and everything. And Jesse Falcon actually... Uh, took it out of the package and put it on top of the glass where all the prototype New Marvel Legends were and people thought that that was going to be a New Marvel Legend. And then I had uh, Dwight criticize it because I criticize his work all the time and uh, uh, I got, he got like he went over the top with the compliments and I didn't like that. Okay, so this is my custom AIM soldier, right? Dwight's checking it out. It sucks! I give it, thank you, Book Nights 10. I wasn't asking you. Alright, so I criticize his work, I'm asking him to criticize mine. This is, I brought the one that was already broken, the head broke, because I didn't want to damage. I have, I made like 11 of these things, so I keep working. 
but yellow's hard to work with, man. It is. All right, I, I'm a. I'm a. It's just a paint job, though. That's the only thing. It's, I'm a design. Uh, you're, you're designer. Dwight Prime. I'm Dwight Prime. I'm Dwight a Prime. designer <laughs> over at uh, Hasbro. And I've been doing this for a little while, and you know, I, I take criticism and, and stuff like that because you know, I, I can't take the bad without taking the good. So I'm looking at this uh, this uh, figure handed to me from Chartimus. Uh, my dear friend Russ, and I would not expect anything that he wouldn't say to me, so he asked me to review this, and I would just have to say that this is by far the most charming and wonderful uh, uh, example of badassery uh, I have ever seen in all of my existence, and my hands feel like they're holding, they feel like they're turning to gold because of the, the genuine love that is coming from this figure, piercing my black heart and making my soul glow and recharge me as only my children can make glow. So that's my review of this figure. And I want to thank you for bringing this and letting me uh, see it. And I, I want to just say to you, thank you for supporting the table brands. And get, man, this is, this man, you pissed me off. Get on your feet, man. Get stop doing that shit. What's wrong with the figure? What's wrong with the figure? It's not three and three quarter inch. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> See, that's what it is. Which you can buy for the Marvel Universe. <laughs> for $7.99 at retailers near you. I think the eye slot is a little too high on the head. I think his eyes would be under that. Just a little bit lower. Yes, what did you make the belt out of? Was it Sculpey or uh... Um, no, it was made out of epoxy sculpt. Epoxy sculpt, okay. Well, that's stuff stuff to work with because you only have a certain amount of time yeah, before, exactly. before you're done I with it. I spent a long time sanding the hell out of trying to smooth this out. Did you tell me that? Oh, God, I hell got the weak one. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the ankles. Oh. Yeah, this isn't how the ankle pivot, though. Oh, is there a test? Sure, it's clean. Oh, be nice. Uh, Jesus Christ. Just put the fucking hard Thanks for me. Nice try. Well, no, because he said... <laughs> right. he, just, he just asked me... He's a tough audience. Yeah, hey, he uh, just asked me, what do you think of the uh, angles? And I said, does he have the angle pivot? What am I going to say? <laughs> oh, it's... it's you can connect uh, shoulders. What's the base? Uh, what's the base? Plug into the body for that. So the upper torso, lower torso, and axe. Oh, so the axe. Yeah, he breaks the help break into. Do you ever six think that this mold would be as good as it was in the first four? You know what that was? That's, oh, Captain Marvel. Uh, the, the, no, no, it's, it's, it's older than that. It's it's bullseye. Yeah. It's bullseye. Yeah, because Dave Cortez did the bullseye body, and that's basically what that is. And then the bullseye body had texture all over it. And I was like, Dave, that thing is so tight. It's working so well. And he was like, Yeah, it's great. Let's reuse it. Yeah, it's great. And I was like, Dave, that thing is so tight. It's worked so well. Let's reuse it again. Take that body. We take all the uh, yeah, the all the straps, everything off it. And then I'm trying to think of where we used it next. I don't remember, but we, we ended up obviously using it a lot because it was such a unilaterally great body. Oh, this is this one. a custom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my aim soldier. It's great, man. This is awesome. Yeah, take it out. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and criticize the hell out of him, man. Relax. Like, even, you can't. Take things too serious, you know what? Well, they think it's way too many, they think it's way too serious. Very nice wash on here. Oh, thanks. That was, yeah, that was really hard to see. I'm sure you could tell. Quite decent right now. Thank you. We'll go right. You guys see these? I'm so happy we changed Steve's head. Yeah, yeah, me too.
It's not bad, folks. Yeah, yeah. This is the behind the plastic panel. And um, and talked to Jesse Falcon a little bit afterwards, and he was like, "Oh yeah, like let's let's hang out tomorrow." So I was like, "All right, cool." So he so we had a little date, you know. My girlfriend makes fun of me for having a hetero man crush on Jesse Falcon, but dude, seriously, Marvel Legends is my favorite toy line, dude. You guys know how much I love Marvel Legends, okay? If you don't, I really love Marvel Legends, all right? And it's and it's just really really cool to hang out with the guy who came up with the idea for it and created it and it's just been pushing for it and everything and it's just awesome man so you know I got to hang out with him on on Sunday and uh, and called up you know uh, Century Productions and like the three of us just wandered the floor uh, that was so cool like not just like I don't know it was awesome he just kept on asking us you ever hear of this figure. Century and I'd be like, uh, no, I was like, oh, come on, here, I know exactly what, I, let's go, okay, I'll show it to you, you're gonna love it. And he kept on, so we got to, like, browse around the convention and, you know, check out figures that he thought, you know, were awesome. So that was, that was just a really, really cool experience. My, my, my one half regret, not a serious regret, is, uh, is I didn't really get to see the, um, the Amazing Spider-Man and the Ghost Rider panels. But dude, the wait for that was incredible. I would have had to miss everything that day. I would have had to dedicate my whole day to doing that. And I guess last year it worked out because I was able. To, I, I ended up doing that last year for the Cap and Thor. But Cap and Thor, I liked more. So you know, I'm more. I was more pumped about. So I was able to do that then, and there wasn't much other stuff I was missing out on. But for the Amazing Spider-Man and Ghost Rider, you really. I, I just didn't. I just didn't want to do it, and. Um, and apparently, I mean, apparently they look cool. Um, my friend Ari, he he saw it and he said that uh, Spidey is funny. So those, you know, that's a very good thing that he's funny. And, uh, and then that they showed the lizard and he looked really cool. He he said that lizard looked a little bit kind of like more human-ish kind of like more like Killer Croc-ish kind of look. I don't know. And um, but they showed you know him picking off the scales and stuff like that. Now I heard all this secondhand, but you know my friend Ari, I've known him. He's one of my best friends. I've known him my whole life. So the Ghost Rider thing was really cool. Like some guy was firing bullets into Ghost Rider's mouth, and then he just spit all the bullets back. And Ghost Rider looks like it's gonna be apparently it's gonna look a lot better than the first movie. So so that's all I can tell you from the panels that I heard from my friend. Now another amazing experience this year was my friend Rodine. Oh my God, dude. Rodine's one of my best friends ever, man. Um, really, an amazing friend, one of my closest friends, and um, the dude is succeeding big time. And if you don't know who Rodine Esquejo is, he's the cover artist for Morning Glories. And uh, just a few months ago, he started working for Marvel Comics. So Rodine is doing great. So look out for Generation Hope issue ten. This is his first issue uh, coming out on Generation Hope, and. Um, and he also did the Iron Man 2.0 number 7 variant, so the Ice Skater chick, he did that. But the amazing thing was that he, you know, he, dude, his his artwork was displayed big time at Comic-Con. Like, okay, so for the image booth, they have two huge sides, right? Like these, like this wall is like 20 feet tall or something. I don't know exactly, but it's like 20 feet tall. And on one side it has five like comic covers the one in the middle is the biggest and it's the walking dead and then there's two other comic covers right but on the other side there's the same thing where there's a huge comic cover and then and four smaller ones on each side on the opposite side was morning glories the trade paperback cover and it's this huge poster like it wasn't even a poster it's this huge wall of Rodin's artwork we are at the image booth that is so sick how huge that Morning Glory is supposed to be. Congratulations, Rodine. I don't know where Rodine is right now. Oh. Oh, wow. Is that the cover artist of Morning Glories? Rodine Esquejo? I mean, Rodine Squiro? I mean, Rodine Esquijo? <laughs> Eisner loser, Rodina Scarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Two time Eisner loser, Rodina Squeegio. Sorry about not winning. <laughs> Dude, getting nominated twice in a year is a win, man. Yeah, first year, first year. No, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we said it too. Sorry. 
just got here. Oh, there's a line? Oh, what? Oh, damn, dude. No way. That is awesome. Wow, man. It's line to see all three of you guys. That is sick. Happy for him. It's incredible. If, if you don't follow, if you want to check out Rodine's art, it's at a... Uh, cakes.deviantart.com so I'll have a link to that at the bottom I'm going to try to put a bunch of links at the bottom here so that was just incredible to see man I'm so happy for him that is pff, too cool I mean just can, can you imagine you, you, one of your best friends ever is like really in the comic biz like legitimately and that's how I got my ass to comic con too so big thanks again Rodine for that dude he, he because he has a professional pass and everything he has a free guest I was a free guest so that was really cool too, and then he gets two other passes that he was able to sell, and he sold one to Century Productions and the other one to Book Nice Tent. So that's like, you know, dude, he didn't just get me in, but he got my friends in too, and, and you know, it's to spend, I think the majority of my time, I think I spent it actually with Century Productions and Book Nice Ten. I think those two guys I hung out with the most. And there was a lot of us there, so we would get split up, but um, the cast was basically, so me, Century Productions, Bug Nice 10, Sean Long, uh, Boxing Type X, From Brazil with Love, um, Realistic Videos, uh, Star Sapphire, Joe Capone, Mario Capone, oh, Jesus, of course, with, from Brazil with Love. Jesus is, uh, is, is uh, one of uh, Brazil's friends, and, uh, and he made a big help. I gave him a shout out in the last video. He, he helped me out getting over there. Really, really cool guy, too. Really funny. Actually, from Brazil, I got to talk about from Brazil with love and, and Jesus. Those are some funny dudes, man. Those are some hella funny dudes. Like, and Brazil is just a hella funny guy, man. He's, he's just hilarious. It was really, really cool hanging out with that guy. If you don't really know who he is, he's one of the people that came into the community really early on. Started really posting videos about Marvel Legends in February of 2009. Brazil started watching my videos in May of 2009. And he just, like, in one day, just went through every single one of my videos in that one day. And I remember checking my phone, like, dude, this guy sounds hell, like, I hella relate to this guy's comments and stuff, you know? And, you know, so, you know, got to know each other more through videos. And he'd, he'd won my first two contests. So, um, and then, you know, through Skype and Blog TV and stuff. So this is just really cool hanging out with him. And he came from fucking Brazil, man. So it was a big deal. So it was, that was really, really fun hanging out with the guy. Um, we got to, uh, you know, we got to hang out at, uh, at his place and see all the Seventh Kingdom figures that he got. And, oh, God, this is actually kind of funny. So I'm going to interrupt this. I'm going to tell a little story right now. Basically, I forgot what night it was. I think it was Saturday. I think it, was, it may have been Saturday night. I'm not exactly sure. But, uh... We, Boog, you know, he's single mangs, doing single mang shits, and he wanted to, you know, so he had, he had this girl, right, he was talking about meeting up with this girl and everything, and going back to the hotel, but nobody was really sure, we were leaving dinner, and, uh, and we're heading back to the hotel, because we really didn't have anywhere else to go, and if you're on that, on 5th Avenue, or 5th Street, whatever, in downtown San Diego at night when everyone's partying, it sucks, man. Like, it's just crowded as hell. The, you know, these people, these SoCal people are going out to the clubs and, and stuff, and it's like, dude, oh, another thing is, these, the way these people are, it's like, they, they look manufactured, man. Like, dude, every, like, when I go out in San Francisco, like, not everybody looks the same, but out here, like, everybody looks exactly the same. All these chicks just wearing one piece dresses, and all the dudes wearing the same type of collared shirt with dress jeans and fancy shoes like everybody just looks like like printed you know what I mean like just carbon copied out of there and it's like at first it's like really cool because getting us all the way you know girls are wearing like like these really short skirts you know so it's like of course everybody's like damn dude these girls are like dressed hella slutty you know but after a while seriously there's nothing wrong with my ween all right my ween okay <laughs> I wanted to say weenus, copyright Ice Cat, by the way. So there's nothing uh, wrong with my weenus or anything, but um, it's you kind of just it gets bland. It's weird. It doesn't. It, you just kind of just walk past it. It's kind of strange. But 
Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, I forgot to... I forgot to mention that uh, Solid Snake in My Pants is also amongst the cast of characters. He's the one who set up the hotel room. Can't forget Solid Snake. But Solid set up our hotel room with a, an amazing deal with six of us staying there. It was, it was really cool. But anyway, um, we're on our way back to the hotel. I'm trying to get a hold of Book because I know he was trying to get with the chick. And he didn't get back to me. So I'm texting him and I write in the text like, dude, we're going to be there soon. Dude, hella close. And, and I get we get back there. And there's this chick with a Wonder Woman outfit taking her, there's her bras on the floor and she's taking her clothes off. <laughs> and they're like, oh shit. And then all of us came back in. It was like me, Rodin, Sentry from Brazil with Love, Jesus. Um, and dude, and oh, I think uh, Tenacious Rick and his chick were with us. I'm not sure. But uh, we all came back into the hotel and. Um, and then books like in the bathroom and everything were like, oh crap! I'm like, well, uh, we just stopped by to use the bathroom really quick. You know, we're, we're you know we'll be heading right out of here soon. You know, uh, Brazil, can we go to your pad? You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, let's just go to my place. And he wanted us to come through to his place and hang out more and everything too. So that was, I thought that was pretty funny. And he book opens the bathroom door. He's got like no shirt on. Really like, oh, everyone's here, huh? <laughs> like, damn, like let's get out of here. So. So we got. He he was later telling me like you guys didn't have to go or anything. I'm like, come on, man, come on, you know, I know, a good time, you know. So it was. So he had a good. I was like, dude, I'm like, you know, because we all kind of got kicked out of the room, but he didn't kick us out. You know what I mean? I, I kind of kicked us out. Rodine didn't really catch on. He was getting all comfy in the middle. Like, no, Rodine, we got to get out of here. So, um, yeah. So. But I was like, hey, as long as as long as you came, it's all good, you know. So he did, and you know, he said he did. Yeah, you know, I didn't see it, but yeah. So anyway, another really weird thing: hanging out with from Brazil with Love and Jesus, and uh, it was kind of funny. We went out to dinner. It was it was me, Century, Bugnice Ten, Brazil, Jesus, Tenacious Rick, and his girlfriend. And um, I can't I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But um, um. <clears throat> okay, so it was seven of us. The only two West Coasters in that group are me and Century. Um, Tenacious Rick, his girlfriend from Brazil, and Jesus are all from Boston. And then, uh, and then Bug Nights Tens from New York. It's like <laughs> just a while. I was like hearing everybody talk for a moment. And I was like, Century and I kind of look at each other like, damn, this is weird. I felt like I was out of town. It was like all. This accents, man. These Boston accents were like bombarding me, and it's like all these guys, nyeh, all these nyehs, 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 like all all over the place, man. It was so weird. I was like, what the hell, nyeh, nyeh. I just kept on hearing that left and right, you know, pack the car and the haba, like all that stuff, dude. It was hella funny. It was weird, but it was very, very cool, and it just goes to show like how cool it is, you know, like dude, we got people from the complete opposite side of the country hanging out with us. It was really, really cool. So yeah, so that that was awesome. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff. I'll show you the stuff I got. I got a lot of footage of um, of the convention. Um, you know, it, yeah, it was really cool, but man. Oh, I'm gonna do a Captain America review. We all got to see Captain America. Not all of us got to go see it. And I feel bad because I gave Anthony James and Punk Rocker, yeah, a hard time about uh, not being able to go see the movie because they're hella tired. Like, dude, I've been up for like. 40 hours, man. I can't, I can't do it. I can't watch the movie. He's like, come on, dude. Just drink some coffee or something, man. What's wrong with you? Just drink coffee, dude. We're all here. We're all going to go see the movie. Come on. Let's all go see the movie, dude. He's like, I, man, I'm tired, dude. I'm really tired. I'm like going to pass out. Like, I'm really, I could pass out like right now. And we got to go get back to the hotel. I'm like, dude, our hotel is like two blocks away. Go take a nap. Why don't you take a nap, dude? Take a nap, dude. You'll be fine, man. He's like, man, uh, I don't think so, because if I take a nap, I'm not going to... I was so... I was being such a pushy prick, man. I feel hella bad, dude. Sorry, Anthony James. Sorry, Punk Rocker. Yeah. But I really wanted, like, everybody to go see the movie, and I didn't want them to miss out on it and everything, but it was... Uh, but, so, yeah, so we all saw Captain America minus those two, and it's really funny. What really made me feel bad is that at the end of the movie, Century Productions and Book Nice 10 were falling asleep. So if their asses were falling asleep, can you imagine? Anthony James would have missed it completely. But uh, the way it turned out, watching the movie was really cool because that, from Brazil with Love to, was to my right, Joe Capone was to my left, or uh, Mario Capone was to my left, and Sean Long was like right next to him. Now Sean Long and I had seen a movie, uh, me, Sentry, and Sean Long had seen Iron Man 2 for the second time together, but this is the first time, like, 
just from me talking about how I get pumped about these movies with Sean, um, him and I like are on the same exact page, like uh, you know, with with the, how we feel about these movies. I don't know if this is the right gesture, but hey, we're friends, you know. But <laughs> we've talked about how we both like to get pumped for the movies and stuff, and this is so. This was a you know the first you know time both of us got to see this movie. Brazil was hella pumped for the movie. He was. I got to see the movie with uh, from Brazil with Love's commentary. By the way, the guy talked through the whole fucking thing. <laughs> No, but he's a funny guy. I don't, I don't mind that shit. Like I said, I like very boisterous um, theaters and stuff like that. So you know, when people are make comments about the movie during the movie, I don't really care. But um, but Sean and I were getting pumped, like at the same stuff at the same time. That was really cool. That was, that was actually a highlight for me because it's like it. I've been talking about wanting to see movie and like you know, it's, it means a lot to me to see these movies in the right kind of crowds. You know what I mean? It was a Comic Con crowd with all my YouTube buddies. Damn man, that was really cool, and especially with Sean. And we wanted to do a Captain America movie review together while we were there, but we you know we didn't get a chance to. But that was like that was a really highlight moment for me was watching that movie with Sean Long because, you know he he has you know he has a similar passion. He gets he gets pumped like how he says it. You know like we're we're big kids like in the same kind of way you know so that was very very fun I got a bunch of stuff while I was over there and a lot of youtubers helped me out um, I want to give a thanks to Star Sapphire for helping me out like last minute we were down there I picked up some figures for her and she bought them off me for more than what I paid for so that was really cool of her um, but um, I got this shirt right here I, I like to get a Comic Con shirt every year so check out my cool shirt check out cool shirt it's Harley Quinn Pretty badass, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And um, so that was ten bucks, and I got that from Juan Juan Carlos Ramos. So very very cool artist. Check him out. I have a link at the bottom of this Chun Li picture right here. This is amazing. I love that upskirt. He has the same kind of perverted uh, desires as I do. Check out Psylocke. Ooh yeah. So check out ch check out Juan Carlos Ramos. I have I'll have a link to his website at the bottom. Very cool. He hooked me up with this sketchbook. So thanks a lot, dude. And um, and then, yeah, so I'll show you all the figures that I got, man. Okay, so I came back with a buttload of stuff. And I uh, just got to say thanks again to everybody helping me out. Now, for those of you who had seen my uh, videos of me asking for help to go to Comic-Con, you must be thinking to yourself, wow, really, dude? Wow, you bought all that stuff? My answer to that is no. I actually barely paid for anything. This is all the community right here, except for about... Um, about $40, uh, no, about 50, I spent about $60. I basically, um, well here, I'll go through everything right here, but I spent, yeah, I spent less than $60 on figures, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Now, um, one of my biggest thank yous is thank you to Marty. Um, this is really badass. He got me the Sentinel right here. And uh, my girlfriend really wanted me to have a Sentinel, so thank you to Charlita One for, for covering the second Sentinel for me to open. So, I mean, having one in package is really, really important to me. And, um, and she knew that I would, my girlfriend knew that I would uh, want one to open. But, you know, if I had to pick between one or the other, I would have the sealed one, of course. But really happy to have him loose. And then, um, and then starting over here... Um, Century Productions, uh, when we stopped by his place, he wanted to give me a couple of figures. I really wanted this Rid Riddler figure and he didn't care to have it anymore, so he gave it to me. And this Green Lantern figure is actually one of my favorite pickups of the whole trip. I really love this figure and I've been looking for it, um, you know, for the perfect DCUC uh, Green Lantern and this one I like. But picking these two figures up came with uh, certain conditions. Um, I had to take home this Chuck Liddell figure because he saw that I had a Chuck Liddell uh, DVD and you know so he made me bring home one of his truly homosexual action figures. Um, I wanted to say a big thanks to Sean Long. Um, I, I bought a bunch of figures off of... Uh, he picked up a bunch of figures for me knowing that I wanted them. Then he also bought a bunch of figures that I had in my video trying to get to Comic Con so thanks a lot dude. Um, this Wheeljack, Universe Apocalypse, Red Skull, Cyclops, which is actually another one of my top favorite figures I brought home, and Warpath, which is an amazing figure. I love that figure. So big thanks to Sean Long, and then Solid Snake in my pants. Um, you know we made 
I, I bought this off of him quite a while ago, so it's good to finally get this in hand. Finally! No, but thanks, dude. I know you're a busy guy. And then he also gave me a bunch of, um, you know, a bunch of uh, head sculpts for customizing so I can use these. He casted all these heads right here so I can... Here's a multiple man. And there's that dragon man, too. Freaking amazing. So this is Solid's custom work right here in my place. And to help me out even more, he gave me all... He gave me this huge set of tools, and this is the same stuff he uses. So I'm really excited about these sculpting tools. Thanks a lot, man. Very, very cool. So now I have some top-notch gear to help me with my customs. And then, um, and then from... Well, this Ant-Man right here, Bug Nice 10 and I picked this up, so I spent $4 on it. He spent $4 on his. One was 2 and the other one was 6 so he was cool enough to split it two ways. So this is very cool for articulated comp art. And then uh, from Brazil with love, big thanks, man. Very cool dude. He uh, he know you know we were talking on Blog TV or on Skype or something. He remembers me talking about me. Using, I used to have this Inferno. Then he also brought this Grimlock too, which isn't you know I'm not sure exactly what line this is, but very cool to have. Thanks, man. Someone threw this Rey Mysterio in my bag. I don't know where the hell that came from. Um, and my girlfriend bought me this Scarabus right here. So this is courtesy of my girlfriend. She really, really thought this was badass. We were looking at the Store Horseman website, and she thought it was really amazing. So, so she got me this right here, and then Jim, Jim of the Four Horsemen gave me a great deal on these two other ones right here. So I got them loose. Uh, someone left that in the comments. So I, I got these loose for a really good deal. So they cost me forty, forty dollars altogether, which is amazing. I cannot get that deal anywhere else. Got this Lionel right here, which, you know, we spent a lot of time, uh, I spent a lot of time debating whether or to get this or not, and it was 40 bucks, and I was like, damn, 40 bucks, but then, um, Brazil was selling some of the extra posters that we got from the movie theater from watching Captain America, so he sold one for 30, and then I wanted to sell another one for 40 to pay for this, and I did, so it was really cool, so thanks to Brazil for doing that, and Anthony James, because apparently it was Anthony James's poster, but he didn't go see the movie. And he didn't really care to have it, so thanks to you two guys for that Lionel figure. And then, right here, Swamp Thing. Big thanks to Memo Cobra. So thanks a lot, man. And, um, you know, I picked up a bunch of stuff for him, and he bought this Memo Cobra for me, so that's awesome. This tick right here I bought, I got it on, I got it for a pretty damn good price, 17 bucks. So I'm really happy about this tick figure. It's really awesome, even though Shocker Toys have heard some shady things about them. But uh, I just love this tick figure. I think it's perfect. This Dexter figure right here I got signed at Jason, the guy who makes these toys um, at the behind the plastic panel. I got this because I answered a question right here. And then this Thor right here, I want to be, give, uh, give a big thanks to Seth for hooking me up with this Thor figure. And then Jerry Nightmare for this Thor right here as well. And Memo put, picked me up a Thor too, and I ended up so I ended up getting three Thors, but I sold one to Sean. So I needed as much help as I can get. So thanks again to Memo for that and Sean. So very cool. And then one of my most prized possessions is this variant Archangel right here, which is worth a ton, but I'll never sell it because Jesse Falcon gave it to me. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, Century Productions and I each got a you know, for, with hang, from hanging out with Jesse Falcon, he gave us these exclusive Archangels right here. So, man, I'm very blessed, man. Very, very good time. Awesome stuff. Got a lot of really cool figures for <laughs> for spending less than 100 bucks. It's pretty amazing. So thanks a lot, you guys. And then I also got a lot of footage of the figures. And it's kind of weird. I didn't realize I was doing this, but I was kind of reviewing the figures while I was looking at them in the glass. So... Um, so yeah, so here's all of that footage, and it'll, I'll pretty much uh, end the video with that. This is a really long video, so thanks for watching. If, uh, yeah, so put a 650 if you get to the very end. I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to do the 650 thing. But, um, yeah, it was just a really, really cool time. Um, I, I, I could talk about it forever. I, I can't think of what else I wanted to say. But I got to see a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to show you the Marvel Universe figures, some Transformers stuff. The new Marvel Legends stuff and uh, and some statues that I thought were awesome. So just sit back and watch all that stuff. Uh, this is a long video as it is, but yeah. So that's all the footage I want to show, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Uh, stream this armor, Iron Man. Hulkbusters. We we all seen these ones. Still need a Crimson Dynamo. 
seen, uh, seen that one machine around. Oh, this is a modular Iron Man, right? It says Neo Classic Iron Man, but I think that's the modular Iron Man, which I misnamed in my review. Here's some six inch Captain America figures. That's a six inch Thor figure right there. Yeah. He's hitting himself in the head. Wow, really? <laughs> But still a very cool looking figure nonetheless. He does have a thigh swivel, no no waist joint, uh, no bicep swivel. I can st oh, no, 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 it, it does have bicep swivel, my bad. There's a Samuel L. Jackson figure right there. And this is a remake of the World War II cap, but that paint detail looks so much better than the Marvel Legends one. So that is cool, they're giving us something extra there. I don't like the helmet though, the helmet is new. There's a re-release of the Blob Series Thor, better paint, of course, shiny blue, better flesh tone. This Loki looks so sick. Wow. That is an awesome Loki figure. That is incredible. There's that Thor again. So here's Thor. That's the same as the SDC, uh, SDCC exclusive I just reviewed, but you can see the hammer right there, of course, is solid. And the eyes, he actually has pupils in his eyes, as opposed to like the clear lightning bolt. Can't see his right eye, it looks kind of funny looking right now, but... Slightly different paint, the cape is darker, it's not as bright of a red, I like that. Constrictor looks sick, it looks better than the one that we saw in the glass a couple years ago. But these, uh, you know, tendrils are not bendy, which is weak. And there's Ghost Rider. That's how Ghost Rider looks now, Dwight said. I like how the paint looks on his skull, though. That looks really sick. It looks like a little smaller, though, than he should be. There's the Build-A-Figure right there, Terax. Looks sick. Iron Man. Doesn't look so bad. It looks like he's supposed to twist right there on the thighs where the gold meets the red. Why are you zooming in on his crotch? <laughs> This Hope actually looks like the coolest one to me though. Steve Rogers looks cool, but the head looks a little big. I think I like the solid custom more. That Hope looks cool with the forge gun. Really cool looking Hope figure. Maybe masturbate to that one maybe six times. Out. There's a claw right there. There's his actual, he looks really small though in comparison to the other ones. I don't really like that. Steve Rogers looks cool. We can get another shot of the shield. I like how it looks the shield clips onto his back like that. That's pretty neat. There's a hole in the back right there for it to clip onto. I think that's awesome. Looks sick. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about it. I mean, definitely if I have to pick between this one and the green one, I want. I like the new head sculpt, but the green one is how I know Foom. And cloth shorts. But, yeah, dude, he's got cool ink, paint apps. See on the arm right there. Right there. Oh, you can see the green underneath. Yeah, you can see the green underneath. And he's supposed to have light up action and everything. Oh, you can! <laughs> yeah. That's a, probably a. It's got what? It's got license sounds. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they did, they did say the face is different. Hey, well, look at the button on this. His there's a silver chest. version there's of the Sentinel. There's a button on his chest, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crap. yeah, there's a button. Very cool. cool. I like the paint apps a lot. Nice. You bought that? And there we have the Marvel Universe Ant Man. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of. Oh, Mask it's like really skinny, but it's cool. That needs to be painted silver, I think. It looks like it's not yeah, done. Yeah, the helmet doesn't look done, but the rest looks nice. So repaint Thanos. That Adam Warlock looks amazing. Yeah. These are all two packs. Try to get all this camera. Dude, I like Dude this Gambit and Mr. Sinister are dope. Oh wow, Quicksilver. Yeah. I helped pull off that head thing in a can. Oh, that's hair. It's hard to tell, but yeah, there it is. You can see. Nice. New Daredevil and Bullseye. See Taskmaster in the back. Fucking awesome. Marvel Universe Kang looks pretty damn sweet. And Future Foundation Spidey. That looks awesome. That head sculpt is sick. 
You see the rivets on the straw head a little bit? Very, very cool. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Awesome, awesome looking figure. Scarlet Witch looks awesome. She's got ankle pivot. Yeah. Oh, she looks mean. That is sick. One for me now. That's right. Okay, yeah. There's Punisher and She Hulk. Ooh, to articulation on a Marvel Universe. Wow. I do want to get this Astonishing Beast. That is cool. Oh, that is sick. That's like weak, though. Those are weak holes. Bad Ray Bill. No, not really. I'm mean, tearing something. That's cool. I like the sculpted yeah. shoulder pads. Nice. Dylon. Really like this Hulk. I really want to get that Hulk. That, that is, is cool. awesome. This new Magneto. Awesome. Hey, what? big heads in the way. Oh, I didn't even know. Sweet. Like Dude, the silver is doing on that cow lock. <laughs> Your fingers in the way. <laughs> That sword on Salak is sick though, man. Yeah. I love that stuff. I wish she would have had like. So here's another look at Arnim and Zola. So this piece right here has a. Uh, looks like it has like a thin sheet of plastic in front of it. More so than just like a plain sticker. So it's got like a thin sheet of plastic in front of the sticker. No bicep swivel. Strangely so knees and. These look like they do have the ankle pivot. They brought in the ankle pivot on the uh, Terax, but that's only one from wave one. And then there's like the variant piece where you could exchange the middle torso and the head piece for the red skull, so I think that's pretty awesome. Ah, you're ruining my video. Damn, I hate you. Uh, look, this guy looks like an asshole over here. I don't know who he is. But he looks like a dick. Say what? All oh, right. Say hi, YouTube community, but with the middle finger. Uh, okay. <laughs>